वेलकम टू बुलेट्स ऑफ हेमी सो टुडे इस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट मैपिंग सो दिस इज द डेफिनेशन हियर मैपिंग रेफर्स टू चेंजिंग द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ ए पॉइंट और वेक्टर इन स्पेस फ्रॉम वन फ्रेम टू अनदर फ्रेम द सेकेंड फ्रेम हैज थ्री पॉसिबिलिटीज इन रिलेशन टू द फर्स्ट द फर्स्ट वन इज रोटेशन दैट रेफर्ड एज चेंजिंग द ओरिएंटेशन and the second one is translation and the third one is rotation plus translation so before moving forward we know about coordinate system in a 3d space a coordinate frame is a set of three orthogonal right handed axes called principal axis having one origin then the position vector added on the point p in space is defined as p with respect to x y and z so here you can see this is the origin named as o and three axes x y and z these three axes are called principal axes so here we have taken a point on space that is p so this is p x this is p y and this is p z so p vector is equal to o p vector is equal to p x x cap plus p y y cap plus p z z cap and this is our equation number 1 now 1 p is equal to 1 p x x cap plus 1 p y y cap plus 1 p z z cap this is our equation number 2 this equation can be written in terms of vector component so this is 1p is equal to 1px 1py 1pz and we can write it as also 1px 1py 1pz transpose here 1p is the frame space rotation where cos alpha is equal to 1px upon l cos beta equal to 1py upon l cos gamma is equal to 1pz upon l so l is the distance from the origin o to p and the angles are alpha is uh, from x axis to this line op and the beta is from y axis and the gamma is from z axis so we can also calculate l that is length l is equal to p vector of mod that is mod of op vector that is equal to 1 px square plus 1 p1 square plus 1 pz square of root over now we will see the first that is rotation mapping between rotated frames so here the origin is named as o and this is x this is y and this is z let this x y z be frame 1 or x y z plane and the another frame is u v and w after rotation we will get this one and let this one be frame 2 or u v w so this is the point we have taken and this is op so here from this point this is px this is py and this is pz from p and from this point this is pu this is pv and this is pw got it so now you can see 1 p is equal to 1 px x cap plus 1 py y cap plus 1 pz z cap and this is our equation number 5 so 2p is equal to 2p u u cap plus 2p v v cap plus 2p w w cap this is our equation number 6 so projections of 2p on frame 1 are obtained by taking the dot product of 2p with the unit vectors of frame 1 so by taking the dot product we will get 1p x is equal to x cap dot 2p that is x cap dot 2p u u cap plus x cap dot 2p v v cap plus x cap dot 2p w w cap. Similarly, we can get 1p y and 1p z. And these three equations are equation number seven. In matrix form, 1p x, 1p y, 1p z is equal to x cap y cap, x cap v cap, x cap w cap, y cap u cap, y cap v cap, y cap w cap, z cap u cap. Z cap V cap, Z cap W cap, 
whole multiplied by 2 px 2 py and 2 pz this is our equation number 8 so we'll get 1p is equal to 1 add to 2p this is equation number 9 where r is called a rotation matrix or rotational transformation matrix similarly we'll see 2r1 is equal to u cap x cap u cap y cap u cap z cap b cap x cap b cap y cap b cap z cap w cap x cap w cap y cap and w cap z cap this is our equation number 10 here 2p is equal to 2r1 1p this is equation number 11 and 2r1 equal to 1 r2 transpose this is equation number 12 so 2p is equal to 2r1 1p that is equal to 1 r2 transpose 1p that is equation number 13 where we must know r inverse is equal to r transpose that's why r into r transpose equal to i so what is now i where i is the 3 cross 3 identity matrix so this is all about rotation in matrix thank you